Hello everyone. Welcome back to Chinwe's Kitchen. I trust that you all are doing well. Today's video is on how to cook Nigerian Eforiro with spinach vegetable soup. Now, I got this spinach like this from ShopRite. Yes, that's where I got it from. And um, this is what it looks like. And spinach is very rich. It is very healthy. It prevents cancer, reduces blood sugar, aids in bone health, aids in weight loss, good for your eyes, reduces hypertension, has anti-inflammatory properties, keeps your body relaxed, prevents acne, and gives you a glowing skin. To get the leaves ready, I had to wash it first before slicing it. And in the last process of my washing it, I had to soak in a slightly warm water so that by the time it goes into the fire, it doesn't become, you know, overcooked or too soft. So it still retains a little, you know, hardness. I also washed the leaf with salt. For my ingredients, I have blended tomatoes, pepper, crayfish, and ogiri. I also have my grilled pork, palm oil, salt, seasoning cubes. I have the big crayfish, I have pomo, and um, I also have smoked fish, I have stockfish as well. Onions is also included in the tomato mix. So I had to prepare my pot. I rinsed it thoroughly and will just allow it to dry. And um, it is dried now. I'm just going to add my palm oil. The palm oil will just um, heat up a little. And the next thing I'm going to be adding my sliced onions. I'm just going to allow the onions to um, cook for some time. So it's time for me to add the tomatoes mix in it. I said there's ogiri, there's um, onions, there's fresh pepper, there's tomatoes and there's crayfish. We'll stir and allow to cook for some time. I want it to be um, dry to an extent before um, I proceed to the next step. And as you can see, it is still um, not dry yet. So I will just stir and still allow it to cook for some time. At this point, I'm going to start adding some of my ingredients. I'm adding the pomo with the big crayfish. I will stir. Next, I'm adding the meat stock. You can see it's not so much, so it doesn't make it too watery. We stir and just allow it to cook for some time. Next, I'm adding my grilled pork so that enough ingredients can get into it. This is looking really good. <laughs> I love it already. I'm adding my seasoning cubes. Dry pepper. I always add dry pepper. I'm gonna stir. I 
and cover up. Okay, so this has dried up a little. And we'll just go ahead to add the leaves. I will keep on adding the leaves as I add I will stir till I'm done adding up all the leaves please if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and do not forget to hit the notification bell so that when there's a new video from me you will be the first to get it thank you so much okay so the leaves are all in i'm gonna add just a little salt because the leaf itself has salt content and i'm adding the periwinkle and then the smoked fish we'll stir carefully so that the fish does not dissolve i will allow to cook just for a few minutes so that the leaves do not become overcooked and lose its nutrients. Tasting for salt. And it's ready. So we go ahead to prepare the semoviter. We'll add water to the pot, cover it up just for it to heat up just you know close to boiling point but not boiling for me that's how i prevent it from you know having seeds when i make the semoviter so it's time i'm just going to um pour in my measured semoviter the quantity that i need at this point i had to reduce the heat So we'll stir. I'm careful here so that it doesn't, you know, become too soft. And so the water should not be like too much, depending on the quantity you're making anyway. So it still feels hard a little. I'll just add just water, a little water like you have seen and stir. I will continue to stir until it makes up properly. We'll allow it to just cook properly and it's ready. It's served now and it's looking so delicious. And this is the Nigerian Efuriru with spinach vegetable soup. So if you found this video very helpful, please leave me your comments, share with your friends, and um, do not forget to subscribe. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.